Two. What's up? It's your boy Oscar210 from San Diego, California, and this is the recap. What's up? This is your boy Oscar210 and my boy Jose Grajo. I'm here in San Diego, California, or rather San Diego County in Fallbrook, California. And I'm here to recap a little bit of what went down during the 1823 Young Adult Conference with All For God. I was called to come down and be a part of this Young Adult Conference so that I can give some talks. Both talks were kind of around where we are in our relationship with God. Where is God revealing himself to us? See, as young adults, I think we kind of get caught between stages. We're just not sure where we're at with everything. We kind of see God as he worked in the beginning of our conversion. And then we kind of pray for where he's going to work later in our conversion. But in that young adult period, we're just kind of stuck now. The first talk was just all about that. Realizing that it's not the God that I was, the God that I will, but the God that I still, the great I am. But then we get to the meat and potatoes of our talk, which was talk number two. In talk number two, it was all about invoking the Holy Spirit. See, a lot of times I think in the moment of us being who we are in the now, we very rarely get a chance to really call upon the Holy Spirit, who is the Lord, the giver of life, full life, complete life. We don't realize that when we call upon the Holy Spirit that those things that we were once enslaved to, those things that we were once kind of bound to, that we're no longer bound by it because those things bring death where the Holy Spirit just wants to continue to breathe life within us. Listen, I know it's an awkward stage within the young adult stage because we're not necessarily taken serious enough to be adults adults, right? But we're not young enough to be considered youth. And I know that there's a lot of stuff in the church for like little kids and for preteens and for teens. And there's a lot of stuff for adults, but there's not really much there for you. And this is where we're asking you to really step up your spiritual maturity and call upon that Holy Spirit to guide you within your small communities. Build this fellowship. Realize that the great I am wants to work and reveal himself in your life right now, not tomorrow not just in your past conversion but right now so no longer be a slave to fear no longer be bound to to the anxiety to the stress that this transition may bring but realize that you truly are a child of god so if you want to join me join me right now just slightly in re-invoking that holy spirit and acknowledging the fact that you're not enslaved to fear amen amen i'm no longer Remember that now, remember that always, that you are a child of God and you're no longer a slave, you're no longer bound, you're no longer captive to fear. Amen? From one adult to a transitioning adult, don't worry about who God was in your life, don't worry about who God will be in your life, worry about Him still being in your life. Amen? Amen? Amen. This is your boy 210. My boy Jose Grajo and behind the camera, little MC Jude. And we're signing off from Fallbrook, California in San Diego County. We're out. Well, the Good. That was awesome. Good job, Jude. That was awesome. Did we do okay? Let's make sure that kept recording. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Yep, it did. And quiet on the set. Quiet. Shh. I need to burp. Go ahead. It's just a short burp. Okay. Burp. Good job. I'm gonna go with it.